How's it going, YouTube? This is Skull, and I'm not in front of my blue screen this, this time to make this video. Uh, my cat found my blue screen and decided to try and rub his face all over it, and it fell over. So while I'm in the middle of repairing that, I decided it'd be appropriate to make this my background for this video. So sorry if the colors are all weird, if the shadows maybe play around a little bit, but this is the best I can do. So anyway, you might remember a few months ago, I got a uh, very special game in the mail from Super Rare Games over in the UK, and that game was Human Fall Flat. This is one of the rarest physical games to be released on the Switch. There's only 5,000 of these in the world, um, and I, I was so glad that I got it. It came with all sorts of awesome, fun things. Of course, it came with the game itself. Here's the cartridge. Now you can get a nice, much better look at what it looks like. It came with these awesome trading cards. Came with a nice letter from Super Rare Games thanking you for buying their very first game. But that was the last that I made a video of uh, showing them off. So, what's happened since then? Well, they've released two more games. And they actually sent the, both of these to me for free. And I didn't show them off in their own dedicated videos. Um, but here they are now, just so you know. We got the Flame and the Flood, and we got Shelter Generations. Now, if you want to buy any of these three games, they're still available on their website. Again, very, very rare games. These will be very sought after in the future. The Flame and the Flood also only 5,000 copies made. Shelter Generations, 3,000 copies. This is tied for the rarest physical release on the Switch, and there's still some of these left, so if you want to go and buy one of any of these, go to their website and pick one up, because they won't be around for long. They look great on my on my wall with all of my other Switch games. I have over 120 games. These are two of them. So, wouldn't it be awesome if I got one more? So they have sent this to me as well. This is their latest release, and I'll go ahead and open it up right now. So exciting. Um, so again, they did send this to me for free for review purposes, so full disclosure there. And to show off and show you what you have the chance of getting if you were to buy this. So let's see what this package came with. It came with, all right, already, we got this uh, postcard looking thing. I don't know what to call this. It's just a little piece of cardboard. Super Rare Games, their logo on one side. And on the other, it says, thanks for all your support. If you experience any problems, there's the email. Don't forget to sign up for our mailing list or connect with us socially on Instagram or Twitter, the Super Rare team. So this is a great thing about Super Rare Games. They love their fans. I've seen them talk with them all over the place on Twitter and in the Discord group. And this is the game that we got uh, today. It's in this nice plastic sleeve. It looks great. And the game, as you can see, past the plastic, is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. I believe there were 5,000 of this game made as well. I could be wrong, but that is correct the last I checked. And just all of the care that they put into every single one of these releases is amazing. So there's the game itself, it's still shrink wrapped, so I'll need to get to that in a second. Need to show off everything else that they came with too. We have two stickers. We have uh, we have Super Rare Games Green and Pink. And that goes really well actually with the red that they have had in the past. So it looks like they're gonna try and make a different color sticker for every release and try and make it match the uh, cover of the game that they released. And look, look, those are the exact correct colors to go with the game. Isn't that amazing? So let me go ahead and put those down there. And another thing that Super Rare Games does that other game companies don't that make these limited print Switch games, they make trading cards. So we got a pack here, and there's five cards all together that you can collect for, and I believe that each pack comes with three cards. And there's a lot of people out there who love trading for these cards, so let's see what we got here. Uh, of course, we all have this little promo for lovers in a dangerous space time. We have, that's what the back of the trading cards look like. So let's see, yep, looks like that in the back. We have Anti-Love Bug. This is number one in the series. We have uh, Drillfoot, which is number three in the series. 
And we have this beautiful, beautiful picture. That's number five in the series. So I'm missing two and four. And if I want to get two and four, I either buy more packs from Super Rare Games or I trade for the ones that I'm missing, which is really, really awesome. I love that Super Rare Games does this. And they fit in the uh, case so you can have them with you all the time. What I love to do is I love to put them in here where the manual should go. Switch games usually don't come with manuals, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and open up the shrink wrap, tear into this, and see what we've got here. Ah, oh, this looks gorgeous. So, one other thing that Super Rare Games does that um, most other limited print companies don't is uh, they have the number there on the spine of what the release number is. So this is number four, so it'll go right there on my shelf between my Shelter Generations and my Dimension Drive. Uh, this is something that Nintendo of Europe allows, but Nintendo of America doesn't. That's why when you have things from Limited Run, you don't have the number on the spine, because all the spines need to look uniform. I think someone should have told uh, Konami that before uh, they put out Super Bomberman R, but, um, but regardless, so we got the number on the spine, we got the absolutely gorgeous uh, picture here on the front, and I mean, just look at this, that looks absolutely amazing, so, so beautiful, we got all the information there on the back, and the inside, <clears throat> just look at that, isn't that absolutely amazing? There's no requirement ever for a company to put art or anything inside here. A lot of games don't have this at all. Um, but Super Rare Games does this for every single release. They put beautiful art here. And of course, the cartridge itself, the entire game, is right there. You don't need to download any patches, nothing at all. Just download, no, just plop this in your Switch and it's ready to go. And you can even see there at the very bottom, maybe, you can even see the Super Rare Games logo. Isn't that just amazing? So, again, what I like to do is I like to put my trading cards right here. I like to put them right there where the manual would go. You see there. And uh, I'll actually put the two stickers in there as well so I remember which release this came from. And they fit all perfectly. I don't know if they meant to do this or not, but it all fits perfectly right there. We're uh, in the manual slot, and it closes up just fine. And then, I have I, I need to sort out my shelf later, because actually what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play this for a little bit and show you the game. And uh, again, if you want to buy this for yourself, there aren't that many in the world, just go to Super Rare Games website and get this, get all of these games. And you know what? There's more games on the way. Their very next game is Mud's Collection. Uh, Mutant Mud's Collection. After that, Worms WMD. After that, Snake Pass. Super Rare Games has a ton of great games already out. They've got a ton of great games coming up. Make sure you go and buy some of them. I'm going to go and play this. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, he hello everyone, here I am. I am here um, in the game and I am uh, playing the game. I decided to not show off the uh, intro because um, I decided not to show off the intro because there was a lot of cutscenes that I think are much more enjoyable if you're um, playing by yourself. If you if you realize what's going on uh, by playing by yourself, okay, this is cool. So it looks like I am in control of each of these. Oh wait, now I see. I need to you shoot the buttons there. There, that's one. Okay, this is cool. So it looks like this is the this is what the first bit of gameplay looks like. Uh, like I said, there was there was tons of cutscenes, and I decided to just skip over those, so that uh, um, I just figured they'd be much better if you saw them yourself. Oh, we got a loyal space pet. So this is what we're able to do. Uh oh. Oh, th there we go. Huh. For some reason, it got stuck going left. Order them to shoot the targets. How do I do that? Oh, I see. Okay. That That's how that works. Very cool.
Oh no, he didn't quite destroy it. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, this is cool. And this is the kind of game that would would have been really fun and I would never have known about it or given it a chance if it had come out physically, thanks to Super Rare Games. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, so me and my dog can both do this together. Okay, so in lieu of co-op, you can have a CPU do it. That's really cool. I like this. This is this is cool. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to aim for that one. My dog aims for that one. There we go. And voila! Look at this! Oh, we got shields! There we go. Okay, this is awesome. I can I can shield and my dog can shoot my, my raccoon. Or we can both do it. There we go. What's this? Oh! And now we can move! Oh, this is cool! I don't know why, but this game reminds me of... You know those, like, Flash games that you would play on your internet browser in the 2000s? That's what that... That's what this reminds me of. And this is so well done. I love the music in the background... I love I th this is very fun gameplay rather easy to rather easy to get used to rather simple but I could see this getting really interesting really fast it's already getting pretty interesting so yeah okay it looks like we're completely under zero G right now so need to actually control which direction this goes and the longer you hold it the more you speed up Oh, this is a really cool game. Okay, what do we got here? What is that? Looks like m my raccoon got taken care of that. Got that taken care of. What's this? Oh. Okay, it only works. Oh, and it has to recharge. That is so cool. This is awesome. Okay, well, um, I honestly think you guys got the picture of how this game works. This is awesome. You get, this is, this is cool. I'm, I'm going to stop the video here, but you guys get the idea of, of what you're in for if you buy this game. And again, buying this supports super rare games, um, so make sure that you do that, um, because seriously, they, these guys need support. Um, just buying their games will mean a lot, um, and, and they're 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 getting awesome games like this. They got Human Fall Flat. They've got Muds Collection coming up. They got. Um, they, they got, uh, Worms coming up, and of course they got Snake Pass. All sorts of awesome games to look out for in the future. So, if you like what you see, then make sure that you, um, go ahead and buy the game from Super Rare Games. Um, a link is in the description, and that's where I'm going to end this. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and here's the entitled card. Goodbye! Hi everyone, this is Skull. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I also want to give a huge thanks to my Patreon pledgers for this month, whose names you can see on screen, along with some other videos of mine I think you might enjoy watching. That does it for now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.